Welcome to this video about ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI chatbot created by OpenAI that can engage in natural sounding conversations with humans. It uses natural language processing or NLP along with deep learning algorithms to understand user input and generate responses in real time. I'm Lokesh and in this video we will be discussing seven ways educators, course developers, instructional designers and teachers can leverage ChatGPT. We will cover how to use ChatGPT to plan lessons, generate activity ideas, generate content, prepare slide points, get homework ideas, write quiz questions and generate field trip ideas. Let's get started. So I have drafted an instruction for ChatGPT. But before I ask ChatGPT to create a lesson plan using my detailed instructions, let me first show you what happens if I type in a simple instruction. Now let's say I want to create a lesson plan to teach students in the 8th grade about solar system. So I'll just type in create a lesson plan for teaching solar system. So now you can see that ChatGPT has started to process my request and it's typing its response on screen. Let's wait until it gets over. All right, as you can see, it has generated a response. It has created an amazing lesson plan for me. I can take this and run with it. However, there is one point, if you notice that it has created this lesson plan for the third and fifth grade. Now, as my query was very generic, I didn't specify the grade for which I want to create a lesson plan. It assumed that solar system is typically taught in the third or the fifth grade and created a lesson plan accordingly. However, this is not what I need. Another disadvantage of writing a generic query with ChatGPT or any AI chat engine is that this is a very generic query which can be written by someone else. Let's say you're creating an e-learning course that you want to sell online. So you would want your course to be unique. If you're using ChatGPT, you can lose that uniqueness if you use generic queries and run with what ChatGPT gives you. So just like Google search, I like to customize my instructions to ChatGPT. I treat ChatGPT as if it's a person and it would do a job well only if I give clear instructions to my team. So similarly, what I have done is I have created this sample note as a part of that strategy. I always given detailed instructions to ChatGPT wherein I have given a lot of details around that I want to teach solar system. I haven't provided a grade. So let me provide a grade as well. This lesson plan is for the eighth grade. Next, I have given an instruction on that. I want the lessons to be divided based on each object of the solar system. Now over here, it has given me a generic lesson plan. But let's say I want to teach about the sun first and then the planets and the planets should be grouped together into different categories or groups. So let's say I want to teach my class in a different way instead of a generic way which ChatGPT has provided. So I have provided an additional instruction that how I want the lessons to be structured. I want the lessons to be based on each object of the solar system. Now, I have also given an instruction wherein I ask ChatGPT to start off with the sun. Also, I have asked ChatGPT to include activities at the end of each lesson. And I have also specified an activity which I certainly want to run in the class. So let's give this new command to ChatGPT. But before that, I'd like to share a tip wherein in case you want to revise any of your command, you can click this edit icon on the top right, then make the required edits to the command and then click save and submit. In this case, I want to highlight the difference between the previous output and the output that I will get with my more detailed instruction. So I'm going to paste my instruction and run this command. All right, so ChatGPT has responded to my request and I can see that there is a new lesson plan created. Now notice how this lesson plan differs from the previous version. ChatGPT has followed my instruction in which I asked it to start off with the sun and then the other celestial bodies. So it has organized the lessons starting off with the sun, then the inner planets, then outer planets and moons and other celestial bodies. Then another point is that it has included the activity that I wanted to conduct in the class. So it has again followed the instruction. 
Hence, I would say treat chat GPT like a person. It could be only as smart as your instructions. It can't go ahead and create something unique for you if you type in a generic instruction. Now let's look at another way you can modify your instructions and create a lesson plan for different types of courses. So first, let's see if chat GPT can help me generate a lesson plan for an e-learning video course. And I would also like to change the audience from eighth grade students to adult learners. So I'll go ahead and modify my instruction. So the modification that I'll do will be for an e-learning video course and I will change the audience. So as this is an e-learning self-paced course, I'll delete the part about the classroom activity and then execute the command again. All right, so chat GPT has gone ahead and created a lesson plan for me for an e-learning course as well. I'll slowly scroll through it so you get a chance to review this. I can notice certain differences in this lesson plan wherein it has removed the in-class activities but it has provided activities and assessments for the course. Some of the activities that it has included relate to participants collaborating with other participants outside the class or in a virtual space. So let's say I'm not happy with the activities that ChatGPT has provided me in this lesson plan. I want more ideas. So I will go ahead and type another instruction for ChatGPT. Let's see how it responds to that. Well, 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 chat GPT has responded to this request as well. It has given me seven additional activities that I can ask my learners to perform or include these activities in my e-learning experience. You can similarly use chat GPT to generate ideas. These ideas could relate to activities, discussions, interactions, or engagement that you want to incorporate in your courses. That's all I have to share on creating and working with lesson plan and generating ideas when working on lesson plans in chat GPT. So let's move on and see what else can you do as a teacher using chat GPT. Now that we have a lesson plan in place, let's work on generating content that we can use to edit and then deliver for our classes. So to do that, I will go ahead, scroll up to my lesson plan and I will copy the topic. So I'll once again go ahead and try to give a unique instruction to chat GPT so that the content that I get is unique and I can avoid plagiarism as much as I can in an automated way. I will obviously recommend going ahead and editing the content that chat GPT gives you just to ensure that the content is tailored for your target audience. So let's go ahead and give in the instruction. Here is my instruction for generating content for the introduction to solar system topic. I have written, help me write a unique script content as an expert for the topic introduction to the solar system. I have again specified my target audience and I have again specified that the script will be used to create a training video, which the learners will see online and at their own pace. Now I have also called out the topic which the video will cover. As this is the introduction topic, there isn't much. However, in case you want to give a detailed list of topic that a particular lesson should cover, then provide a list after this. So this is the strategy that I use to generate content. Note that I have used the phrase as an expert to give a cue to chat GPT to write content as an expert. Such cues can ensure that the content generated is unique and is of value. So let's go ahead and run this. Again, it's a surprise. I am getting so much unique content. Well, chat GPT has given me the script for the introduction module within a minute. This is scary, but I'm happy as well at the same time because this can help me be more productive and focus on other things. Now I don't have to write everything from scratch. I can certainly leverage this as a base content. There are ethical implications to it, but as long as I add my own value to it, modify it for my target audience, I personally feel it is fine to reuse this content and then make something of your own. However, the golden tip in this case, again, is try to be unique with the instruction that you give ChatGPT. Generating content through ChatGPT is easy. However, generating content that is unique and meant for your purpose is something that may take some practice. 
you can repeat the process and generate content for the rest of your modules or lessons in your course. Next, let's see how we can use ChatGPT to prepare presentations faster. See you in the next module. Now that I have a script, let's see how I can use ChatGPT and the script to quickly prepare a presentation. ChatGPT is not going to build a PowerPoint presentation or a Google slide presentation for me, but it can certainly help me generate content that will go on my slides. So this is something that is a hit or a miss. At times I get great output from ChatGPT on my first attempt, while at times I have to reiterate and then give even clearer instructions. So in this case, the instruction that I'm going to run and see whether I get the desired output is, help me prepare the on-slide bullet points for the content above. Each point should briefly explain the concept that the students can read and learn. I don't need instructions on slide about how to teach a topic. I have included this exclusion statement in my instructions to ensure that chat GPT doesn't give me instructions on teaching the topics. At times it goes ahead and gives me instructions on how to teach a particular subtopic instead of giving me content that students can read and learn from on a slide. So this statement in which I'm asking chat GPT to exclude instructions on teaching topics is my way of providing clear instructions and getting the desired output. Now the next part of my instruction is break the content into multiple slides based on logical organization of content and provide a heading for each slide. Now let me run this and see whether I get the desired output from ChatGPT. Alright, so this is the output that I got. This is fairly close to what I wanted, wherein it has given me an explanation as a part of each bullet point instead of just listing subtopics or giving me instructions on how to teach the subtopics. So you may have to try and iterate multiple times if you don't get the desired output. This part of chat GPT is honestly a little hit and a miss wherein it may work like a charm for you once and then you may struggle to get the same output with the same instruction the next time around. As chat GPT is still under development, it's evolving. Hopefully in future, this feature gets better. Let's ask ChatGPT to prepare quiz questions and some homework for students. The command that I'll run for this purpose is generate a multiple choice quiz with five questions for the course video script generated above. Ask students to select the right answer from four plausible options. Identify the correct answer for me. Also generate homework ideas for the learners that they can perform to continue learning after they watch the video lessons. All right, chat GPT took a few minutes and did everything I asked. However, as a best practice, I'll not recommend using this content directly. It is always advised to revise and edit the generated content to ensure it's unique, accurate and meant for your students. In addition, Note that in this case, I combined two commands in one. That is, I asked ChatGPT to generate quiz questions along with homework. Based on your preference, you can run such commands individually. Now, let's move on to the next lesson. In this final lesson, let's see if ChatGPT can help us plan a field trip. Field trips often require plenty of logistics and safety considerations. So it may not be wise to use ChatGPT for every detail of the excursion. However, ChatGPT can be used to identify potential destinations for the trip. To do this, let's run the command, help me plan a field trip that will enable students of a course on solar systems and basic astronomy to learn about the subject. The location of the students is Houston. It's great to see ChatGPT has provided some great suggestions on possible options for the field trip. As ChatGPT is still under experimentation and is evolving, you can test and evaluate how you can best use ChatGPT to be more productive. This concludes the final tip on using ChatGPT. 
Let's move on to the course summary and learn about a few more resources that will help you use AI smartly. This concludes the course on using ChatGPT effectively as an educator. I hope these videos have introduced you to ChatGPT. In addition, I hope that you can leverage ChatGPT in a more productive way after completing this short course. As a bonus resource for watching these videos, I have provided a link in the description to a document that includes all the commands that I iterated on and ran during this demonstration. For tips on using AI more effectively, do check out our video, 5 tips on leveraging AI content. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Finally, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Also, check out the links in the description to know more about our e-learning enterprise services and the instructional design courses that we offer on Udemy. Thank you so much for watching this video.